Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I will be reviewing a bunch of denim shorts that I recently got, and they are all gonna be blue or black denim. So let's get started. First on my list are my top shop jeans. I actually got four pairs. First off, these are the Mom Authentic High Waisted in a size USA size four. This is what they look like. They're very like classic light denim wash, no distressing on the actual short and only the cutoff edges. So if you're not a big fan of like distress, this would be a great kind of like step into it. It's very, I love how it's like a vintage vibe. It's mom shapes so are very high waisted and will be looser coming down. These mom jeans are actually 65 Canadian dollars. So every price I will be talking about is Canadian, but I will link shopping links that work worldwide. You can definitely see the fit difference. These ones are a lot tighter, but because there's no distressing, it's not as scandalous as I thought that it would be. They are a little too short for me though, I think. I think that I would start to feel uncomfortable as I'm like walking, not knowing like how short they go in the back. But I really, really like the color of these and the high waistedness of them. This is what they look like from afar. I do really like the color, so don't get me wrong. If you're looking for a good pair of like medium light jeans, these ones are definitely a go. I also got a black pair there. These are the mom, also the same shape, but you can see they got the distress on the bottom. I got these in a size six. They didn't have a size four for these, but surprisingly when I put them on, I really liked how they fit. So they fit a little bit looser and it helps because of the, dis the distressing. It just allows the distressing to fall better on my legs. These are also $65. And these ones are my favorite black jeans so far, I think. I just stepped in it and made the hole bigger, I but that tends to happen with distressed denim with big holes. Be careful when you step in them, your toe will rip it up. So these are very loose. You can kind of tell that they're looser than they should be on me, but I just, I like that. It makes me feel more comfortable. It makes the jeans look more vintage-y. These ones do have a zipper, so I they will probably eventually create that weird pull that jeans do with zippers that I kind of showed you in the last video, but I really like these. Like these ones, I feel like I will always gravitate towards this summer. Like when I'm looking for something to wear, I'll probably keep pulling at these, which is a sign, a very good sign of a good purchase. These are the last mom jeans that I got. They are the same as the black ones, but they are the light blue wash. I am such a fan of these. I just wanna wear them all the time. So I got these in a six as well. It did come in a four, I tried them on. They just didn't look as great and as like, didn't give me that vintage-y feel that I go for, for cut off shorts. So I would say size up if you're gonna buy these mom jeans in the distressed version. The non-distressed version I got in a four, which apparently is my normal size now. I normally wear two, but Topshop keeps changing sizes on me. Like, what is this? Um, or I'm just get, getting larger and I'm blaming it on the brand, that's fine. You can see what I mean, that like they fit looser. Like they do, I feel like some people might call these diapery, but like I really love the distressing on these ones. And it's just so, you can kind of tell by the fabric between the ones I've tried on already, these ones are just so soft. They're loose enough that it'll be really, really comfortable in the summer heat. Like you see where they hit? They're not quite five inch, I think. I think they're shorter than that, but because of the really high waist, it still makes it look less scandalous than a shorter pair. So these ones are a different shape. These are the Ashley Topshop jeans. They sit more mid-rise. You can tell by like, even as I hold them up, they fit in the frame. They have the five four. These ones are four button fly and it has a little bit of distressing. The denim material on these are a lot more vintage-y. They are called the ultimate vintage mid-rise jeans which I'm very, very happy with in terms of like how soft they are. You can kind of see how they fold easily in my hands here. They have the raw hem on the bottom. So if you really want them shorter, you can cut them shorter. They're the perfect length for me. Something that I love about the Topshop jeans, again, from my last video, you know I hate when there's branding on the butt and Topshop jeans don't have any branding. So you can really wear them forever and ever and nobody will be like, oh, like, why are these from Topshop? Topshop's not even like a thing anymore. So 
something to look for. Topshop jeans are very well non-branded. They are mid-rise, so they sit right under my belly button. It is the five, or the four button fly because it gives it that vintage look in the front. These are very similar to the blue Levi's 501s that I got last year, so I probably will return these, but if you're looking for a good pair of blue jeans that aren't blue jean shorts that aren't too high waisted and are just like comfortable to throw on wherever, whenever that goes with everything, these ones, they're like a very good buy actually. Next, I went to Gap, which in the last couple years, I have been very unlucky with finding jeans there. I think they did change their fit and they've gotten a lot more high-waisted jeans now. So I found a couple pairs. I only bought two because I had already done some damage at Topshop and Levi's. These are Gap really like the Bermuda short jeans. I am so surprised with how great they look on. You will see it in a second. Don't be like deterred by how long these look. They have a really high waist. They sit like a high-waisted jean. And the way that these butt pockets are very wide, you can see that they almost reach that side seam there. Because the pockets go so wide, they make your butt look really good. They don't give you that like grandma butt that <laughs> I feel like tends to happen when you wear Bermuda shorts, especially jean shorts. And that like vintage look of like really baggy long shorts like you will see that a lot this summer. So if you are brave enough and want to try it out, I would suggest getting these Gap ones. These Gap ones I bought in is 26. I wanted them to be like really comfortable because they are longer and I tend to buy jeans in a bigger size in the summer because I just bloat like all that heat. I don't know about you, but I tend to go a size bigger in everything just because I feel like my skin and my body fat just like expands. So I went with the 26 and they fit perfectly. I really like this darker medium denim wash. It's really, really nice to pair with anything. So like you can wear them during the day to like a baseball game or pair it with a really cute blazer or like fancier top at night and like heels for a cute date night. I'm just loving all the things I'm thinking about pairing this with now. Seriously, how cool do they look? I am very surprised that I found a pair of Gap jeans that fit like this. Like it just looks like they just come right in at the waist, come down, go all the way down straight. The wash is perfect. Like you see what I mean by the, the butt? It's like a, the butt is wider so the pockets come almost to the edge of my hip and it just makes it look a lot nicer and less granny like than normal other like Bermuda shorts. This is what it looks like from afar. I think like I would obviously edge it up a little bit more than just a white tee, but I feel like I really, really like this style. I think I like the fact that I can wear longer shorts now. Like I'm no longer obsessed with like wearing short shorts and like having my legs out. I really like these. And the next pair from Gap that I got, these are the five inch shorts and they are mid-rise. These are the light wash ones with distressing, which I've never really seen at Gap before, at least not like distressed into the bottom of the hem. I love, love that look just cause it looks, the distressing just looks more natural when it goes into that raw hem. Again, the butt pockets, like the other Gap ones I didn't mention, the Gap pockets also have no branding, so it just really focuses on like the minimalism and the actual construction of the jeans. I really like how this one's a super light wash. It's the lightest wash out of all the ones I got. So this one is a zipper versus the button. Oh no, this one's a zipper too. These ones were $54.95 and Gap just did like buy one buy 50% off. So I basically could get like the one pair of jeans and like not pay anything. We'll pay 50% on the second one. So go get that if you watch this video while the promotion is still on. They are mid-rise, so belly button here versus the rest of them were above the belly button. They are five inch, which I think is my preferred length of shorts. I do really like how light they are. I don't have a pair of jeans that are this light and the distressing going to the raw hem is still one of my favorite things to find in shorts. This is what like they look like from afar. I think because they hit longer, 
that like it makes it look like they are higher waist and then than they actually are so for the price i think i will probably keep these next i got obviously levi jeans these are the 501 denim shorts so similar to the denim 501s that you liked in the previous video but shorts version they raw cut it they cut it with like a raw hem already so that means that you can cut it shorter if you like or keep them you can roll them which is how i found them on the counter i actually really like where they hit right now so i probably won't be cutting them they have the classic levi's butt pocket this is probably the only branding pocket that i like it's just so classic the levi's back pocket you can't really go wrong and these ones sit mid-rise like the 501 other denim it's basically like they took the regular 501s and cut them exactly the same so if you have that pair or if you ordered them from my last haul which it seems like a lot of you did and i hope you like them if you like the fit of the top of them these ones will be probably your best friend this summer these black levi's i got in a size 25 and they fit perfectly they aren't too tight aren't too loose but these are 80 so 79.95 this is what the raw hem looks like on this is how long they are like i mean if you prefer shorter shorts you can always cut them yourselves i did that with some jeans last year but i think this is a very comfortable length for me so i can sit down without worrying that my butt cheek is hanging out then i got these wedgies i got these light blue wedgies really distressed see the pockets like not even there anymore i think it's pretty cool these ones are 26 okay you'll see them on they are really tight but i think that happens with the wedgies in general the wedgies are just made like a lot tighter i do really like how they fit but i just i already know that i probably won't wear them a lot because they're so tight and in the summer i don't love wearing really tight things these ones are 108 dollars i think a lot of you would probably look really good in them i just think that they don't look the best on me just remember when i said they were really tight this is what i mean like i mean hey i think that they make me look pretty good but i don't feel comfortable moving around in them too much this is what they look like from the side these are the distressed pockets the other side with less distressed pocket these ones are all buttons i think the only reason why i can get them on is because they're buttons i think the zipper would start sliding down by now i do really like the wash of them and like most of the levi's stuff that i get it's 100 percent cotton this is what it looks like from afar oh i'm overheating my condo is getting really hot so good thing i'm trying on shorts and not sweatpants yeah i don't know i think i'm gonna be returning them because i'm just not comfortable enough in them but let me know what you think next i went to urban outfitters and bought a pair of their bdg black mom jeans their black mom high rise jeans these are in a size 26 i bought these when i was returning a bunch of stuff these are 59 dollars exactly with tax of course <laughs> um i haven't tried these on yet i really just picked them and ran out the door so this will be my first time trying them out i really like how it's like a solid black there's not like any distressing that's what i look for in black jeans and it's really hard to find even the levi's ones are like more of like a gray than a black so i really hope that these fit nicely i don't know what it is about this brand but like i feel like i've never found jeans that fit me right these ones are even more high waist than the Maybell ones like they're almost at my rib cage i would say they're probably 11 inch rise the roll is actually like seam is like stuck you can't unroll these i'm sure that if you carefully took scissors and did that you can get them to be longer on me i feel like they feel diapery they feel like i'm wearing a diaper they are very high waisted so i do like that because i can wear like my cropped hoodies without exposing too much of my midriff this is a zipper one and this is what they look like from afar i just feel like the roll makes it feel like a diaper almost Lastly, I went to Nordstrom and Nordstrom carries one of my favorite denim brands made well. I found a lot of shorts that I liked, but they didn't have my size. So I will link the ones that I found that I really like down below. One of the things I love about Madewell is that their denim is so comfortable. It's just so soft, like it's just really stretchy. So these ones are their high rise denim shorts and a 25. This one, like the buttons show through. So when I put them on, you'll see that like all, you'll see all these bronze buttons. These ones don't have any branding on the butt. 
you can only tell that they're made well from the buttons. I think these ones were like $91, which is a little bit pricier than I would have liked, but Madewell is a really good denim brand. So if you're looking to invest in denim, I think you should check some Madewell jeans out. I actually like them a lot more than I'm trying them at home now. At Nordstrom, I didn't like them as much. Again, the length is absolutely perfect for me. Like you can see from afar, this is what they look like. I really like the stretchiness of these. Like, <laughs> can I do lunges on YouTube, I guess? So you can see the wash of these are very perfect as well. Like they have a fade, but the fade makes your waist look really small and fit. So I might consider these ones too. The next pair is really like, I wanna say 70s vibe. It, they're really high-waisted. They got the little two pockets on the very front, got pockets in the back. They're also, they're high-rise. This one I bought in a 26 as well. They didn't have any 25s for me to try, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm a 26 from now on. They do fit more comfortable. I'm worried they are gonna stretch a little bit too much, so I would probably stick to a 25 in Madewell because they do fit true to size. These ones were also $91. You'll see them on, they're very vintage -y, so I feel like, I mean, not vintage -y, they're very like 70s wear platforms and like colorful like striped rib top kind of vibe they sit very high rise my belly buttons here they sit above it I really like the length of them I feel very comfortable like I can sit and move about without feeling like my butt's gonna fall out and they are very very stretchy so I mean I think I have to get used to to get used to this denim 70s look but i think i'm gonna try them on with a bunch of different things they actually might be a keeper what do you think i really like these pockets now and i really like how it's like a finished hem all of my other denim shorts are raw cut all right so i hope that you enjoyed the haul and i hope that i covered everything that i could cover about denim shorts if i missed anything if you have some burning questions leave it in the comments below i will answer them i am loving doing these hauls i hope that you're loving them too like and subscribe and i will see you next time.